Greetings fans, hyper fans and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. I have done a post pull today and got a really nice project come in from AliExpress. These are little USB powered clip on spotlights. They're really good if you want to just read in bed, if you've got displays that you want to light dramatically. Um, they are super bright if I just grab a power bank. I've used this as an inspection light on my 3D printer. In fact, we're going to be using the 3D printer today because I want to go through how to turn this into something a little bit special. Okay, so I have a link to this exact lamp in the description below. So if you want to do this, you really can follow along. I'll probably put the 3D print files that I come up with in the description below as well. Um, so what I'm going to do to start with is just start to take it apart. It looks like a nice 80s studio spot as it is, but we are going to be turning this into a bat signal. So I'm going to pop this off the back, um, turn this around and pop the lens out. Let me just grab just a little flathead screwdriver. Um, these are actually really easy to dismantle. So that's the lens that it comes with. And then if we unknot this at the back, that should let us take the entire circuit out. And then behind the circuit, we just got two more little crosshead screws. Holding that on. So we're going to be keeping this piece, this piece, and then we are just going to take a pair of nippers and get this off. You don't have to use nippers, you can use a Dremel, you can use a hacksaw, depends on how neat you want to make it. All we're really doing is making sure that the wire isn't damaged. Um, that's got a nice ball joint on it. I'll probably save that for a later purpose. But now that that's off, this will slide all the way through. And we will have just the absolute basic part of our lamp. Um, the wires there are exposed but we'll do something about that when we start to 3D print things. Check that it still works. I tend to check the electrics on a project again and again and again. But yeah, that's fine. So let me grab a pair of calipers, a notebook and we'll start measuring this up. Okay, so the first thing about a design is breaking it into its component parts. So what exactly makes up the bat signal? So obviously the first thing we're gonna need is the lens with uh, some sort of bat logo on it. We then need something that's gonna hold the lens. So some sort of tube with a lip around the edge something to hold the bat signal and let us angle it up a little bit. Uh, some sort of base. Um, and then we're gonna need our actual light source, which is gonna be the lamp. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five parts to print. That's not bad. Uh, the one thing that we don't have to print is actually this light source. We'll call that six, but we already have that. That's 
the lamp that I've just taken apart. So let's get some measurements from it. Okay. This is just like a very super cheap set of calipers. Um, I got this from Poundland. It's accurate enough. Okay, so that is 21 millimeters. The width is... Okay, pay attention to this bit. This is where I screw up a measurement which actually messes up with the rest of the project. I do fix it and I'll show you how to fix that in a later video, but this is where it all went wrong. And that back flat edge. That's, that's 30, which means I've completely misread the front, because that is, of course, 58, not 28. Okay, one more thing that I need to measure, which means it's turning the light on. And that is how far away those three light sources blend into one. That's probably about the height I want. And that's about two centimeters. So there's our super rough measurements, uh, let's get into the software and start actually building some stuff. Oh my gosh, this is the bad computer! Okay, so this is Rhino, which is quite an expensive piece of software. You can pretty much use any piece of 3D design software that lets you put the numbers in because we are really just going to be using solid shapes and booleans to do this. Um, We've got five different pieces to put together. We already have the light source, so let's start by doing the actual main body of the bat signal. Now this is basically going to be a cylinder and we'll just build everything around the center of the workspace. So the base of the cylinder will be at zero, zero, zero. The width of our little lamp was 58 millimeters, so we are going to set this to 60 millimeters and give that a height of, let's see, our throw was 20 millimeters, so we need it to be at least that long plus a little bit extra for us to put the lens into and a little bit to cover the lip at the bottom, so we'll do. 25 should be perfect. There. Now, what I like to do, because I've got all these different views, is that on the perspective view, I like to turn that to shaded. So that actually gives me a better look at what the end result is going to be. Now, also on this, we are going to have to put some pegs either side for the stand to go on. Uh, so let's make another cylinder. We're going to make this eight millimeters wide. Doesn't really matter how long it is. 
that's put it in the wrong orientation. So let's move that 90 degrees, stretch it out. So that is at 60. Let's add five mil either side. And let's move that five mil up. So if we look at that now, you see we've got basically a drum with a couple of points sticking out the side. And then we're just going to turn that into a solid single shape. So everything else that we do to it will happen to everything. Okay, so now we are gonna cut a little indent out at the bottom for our lamp to actually fit into. So again, we are gonna be making another cylinder. Base of the cylinder is at zero, zero, zero. The width of it is 58 millimeters. And we only need it to be very short. And we're gonna move that two millimeters into our main shape. So now we grab our main shape select difference and delete this tiny cylinder from our cowling. Now if we have a look at our main piece, here we have a little lip for our lamp to sit into. Now the light's obviously not going to shine through that whole thing, so another cylinder, base of the cylinder at zero, zero, zero. We are going to make this about two millimeters shorter again. So this is gonna mean that the wall of the lamp is gonna be three millimeters all round. And we're just gonna come down two millimeters from the edge. And again, we're gonna do a Boolean deletion. So our main shape minus the little cylinder. And here we have a hollow drum. So here we're kind of looking, got something that looks like a saucepan at the moment. And the last thing that this is gonna need is somewhere for the light to shine out. So guess what? Another solid, another cylinder. And then we're gonna come in another two millimeters. Stretch this all the way out through the top so that when we do another Boolean difference, we now have something that's starting to look about right. Um, we have the lamp cowling, we have pegs on the side to put it into its stand, we have a lip to hold the lens, and we have a lip to hold the lamp. So that's our first part already done. So I'm gonna export this as an STL file and we will call this body. Okay, I think we've got pretty far on today's video. Next time we'll do the supports, the base, and actually get this stuff printing out. Make sure that you're subscribed and you've got notifications turned on so that you don't miss the next episode. And rather than telling you what you are if you keep your toys in boxes, all I can say is, tune in for the next video, same bat time, same bat channel.